What up guys? Shogun Grenade. We're gonna go for a, a ride here and I got a topic today. Today's topic is chains and um, different types. And I also have a little mini rant that I'm gonna start the video off which is ram mounts. Look at how crappy that is. Yep, there it goes, right off. That's nice. Look. How nice is that? The ball broke right off. First time used it. My ball broke right off the damn mount. <sighs> so I emailed Ram and sent him pictures and well actually this is what pisses me off. So I uh order my Ram mounts like three weeks ago. Yeah, it took that long to get them. Ordered them off of Amazon from a seller and that was my first mistake. Should have just ordered them from Ram. But you know what? They were a lot cheaper. So that's where I, I got them from. I'm a college kid. I don't get a lot of money. So um, ordered them from there. And uh, took three weeks to get them from a seller called Photo Loop. Put you on blast there, buddy. Since you kind of pissed me off. Um, emailed him last week telling him that as soon as I put the mount on, it just, the ball broke. And honestly, I think the ball was broken before I ever even installed it because I didn't even put any pressure on it. It just literally broke while I was like mounting it. So to me, that tells me that the ball was broke before and um, I got sent a faulty mount. So I emailed the guy. It takes him like five days to respond. Asking him, basically asked him, can you send me another one? You know, because he's like a business seller, so he sells a lot of these things. And ask him, can you send me another one? And he's like, no, he's like, you need to claim it through RAM, through their mounts, because they have a lifetime warranty. <laughs> I'm just like, that must be nice. You can sit there and sell broken shit, get money for it, and then just tell people to go through the actual manufacturer to fix your bullshit sailed stuff. Like, really? Oh, pissed me off. So I need to say, it's been like a month now since I uh, first ordered my RAM mount and I uh, still don't have a RAM mount. <laughs> so I contacted RAM and uh, this morning and they got back to me like within an hour, like so impressed and told me that, um, well, first they told me that they, <laughs> they were gonna charge me shipping to ship me the replacement and I'm like what the fuck I already paid for it once and now you want me to pay for shipping I mean but I get it because I didn't buy it directly from them my mistake but still I was just like man that sucks and then um, emailed me back and said don't worry about it you know we'll uh, cover the shipping costs and I was like alright cool so RAM is awesome their warranty is awesome I didn't even buy my product directly from them I mean it is their product but they still stood by it Highly would recommend them. I just want to get my damn mount on my bike. So I'm hoping I'll have it by the end of this week. But it's already Tuesday. They said they'd ship it out today. I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take to get here. But uh, I just I just want it, you know. I, money's been out of my account for a month and I still can't use what I bought. That's just kind of frustrating. But anyways, that's my mini rant about Ram Mounts. Ram Rant. Ram Rant. Um, like, it's not really so much about them as much as it's about the jackass I bought them from. Um, anyways, today's topic is chains. Motorcycle chains. Now, there's a lot of different chain options out there. And if it's time to replace your chain and sprockets and whatnot, it can be kind of confusing because there's like a lot of different options and a lot of people will tell you different things and whatnot. So this is, of course, my opinion. I'm sure opinions will differ. But, uh, I've changed the bike, or changed the bike, changed the chain on my bike twice. The first time was because it was worn. The second time was because I made a stupid mistake and bought a piece of shit. So this is what I'm going to tell you guys about chains. You first off, you have your size. You have your 520 chain, your 530 chain. I think there's even one bigger than that. But anyways, 520 you will see on 600 class bikes. 
530 you'll see on leader bikes which are your 1000 cc bikes and then you have links and your link size and your link size will be really based on your bike and basically that's how many links are are around the chain to allow the chain to travel smoothly from your front sprocket to your rear sprocket and have about an inch of play or inch and a half of play so that'll differ it'll depend on what gearing you're running if you're like for my bike I need a little bit I needed like two extra links because I'm uh, plus two in the rear whoa slow down there lady um, so I need a few extra links now the next thing you have is your master link and that's where you go ahead and you connect your chain um, together after you put it on the bike master links are extremely important because essentially the weakest part of the chain is going to be the part that you do yourself which is going to be the master link it's not machined so they have your clip-on master links and they have your riveted master links if you're going to do your own well first off if you're going to buy a motorcycle plan on doing maintenance yourself i don't know how in the world people afford to pay mechanic prices like to change my chain and my sprockets the local um local motorcycle shop wanted 200 bucks in labor like that's fucking nuts i can't afford that plus a hundred and fifty dollar chain plus a fifty dollar fifty to a hundred dollar sprocket set are you kidding me <laughs> that's like routine maintenance kind of stuff that needs to be done regularly and you're gonna charge me like basically 500 bucks hell no so with that being said buy a riveter the tool is like five bucks on ebay you can't go wrong rivet your chain links get a master link that's riveted that was my mistake i bought a clip on i should never have bought a clip on chain that was so stupid and i bought a cheap chain on top of that but it was cool it was green i got it on ebay it was made by velar stay the hell away from them piece of shit chains so here's what happened I was coming home from work at 7 in the morning and I work graveyard. You want to get in your own lane or you want to share mine? What are you trying to do here? Oh no, you actually want to go the other direction. Dear God. Stay there, Prius. So I went ahead and I bought this cheap chain off eBay from Volar. Volar. And uh, it had a clip-on link. Well, it had a, a rivet link and a clip-on link. It came with both. So I was like, oh cool, I can decide when it gets here. It gets here and I'm like, oh, I don't have a riveting tool, but I really wanted to get back on my bike and my chain and sprockets were just so worn. My chain had like five inches of slack in it. It was so worn. So I really wanted to get back on the bike. So I used the clip-on chain. I'm traveling home in the morning and what do you know, I go to merge on the freeway. There's a huge semi. I'm trying to figure out if I should go around it or what I should do. And I go to pull around him, in front of him, so I speed up. My speed's at about 120 at this point, trying to get around this semi, which is like a three trailer semi. And my fucking chain snaps right when I pull in front of him. So that basically there, there's no more drive to the bike. I have no power, it's a dead bike. So then I'm sitting there with a dead bike in front of a huge ass semi that I just pulled out in front of and no power. So I obviously, you know, quickly pulled off the side of the road again, which was very nice and bumpy and almost lost control of the bike, just pulling over. We don't have the best uh, emergency lanes here. But I'm trying to slow down and I don't know what's wrong with the bike. I didn't know my chain had snapped. So I'm just kind of, you know, smoothly breaking down because the last thing I want to do is, I, I didn't, you know, I don't know what's wrong with my bike. So I'm trying to be super careful about it. I come to a stop, I put my kickstand down, get off the bike, look at it. And wouldn't you know, my chain literally snapped off the bike but at the master link. The clip-on link just snapped right off. So combination shitty link, combination shitty chain. And I was stranded on the side of the road with all these cars flying by. But the scariest part was that when chains usually come off, they usually high side the bike. 
because what happens is they get wrapped up in your wheel well because your front sprocket's still turning. And because your sprocket cover keeps that chain on there even when it's off, your chain still is turning. So what happens is it usually gets stuck in your rear wheel and or your around your sprocket, but not the way it's supposed to be, and then locks up your rear tire and usually end up flipping the bike. So I'm going 120 and somehow freaking survive. And when I pulled over, sure enough, the chain was wrapped through my back tire. So I mean, maybe another, maybe 50, 60 feet, and I, my bike probably would have been totaled. It probably would have flipped me right off my bike because it would have locked up. I got so lucky. So I will never, ever, ever buy a cheap chain again. It's the difference between life and death for me now. So I went ahead and I bought an EK chain in gold. It's a O-ring chain with a riveted link. Put it on myself. Bought the riveting tool for five bucks off eBay. Took me maybe 30 minutes of work and I had a uh, new chain and sprockets. So I would highly advise putting your chain on yourself if you feel like you can do it. But more importantly, um, buy a reputable chain from a reputable company and make sure it's a rivet link, rivet master link, and you want some type of chain that's kind of sealed so you don't have to constantly lubricate it. I mean, you'll still lubricate it, but it won't allow dirt in and that will be your X-ring and your O-ring type of chains. That's what you want. Best type. Anyways, if you guys got any questions as far as installing your chain, um, I, unfortunately I didn't make an install video. I should have, but I didn't. So if you got any questions, just let me know and uh, I'd be happy to answer them. So thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Ugh, I want to get out of this traffic.